Well, just gathering my things for fishing tomorrow. I know we're starting to lose light here, but just want to show you really quickly my wetsuit. This is a Farmer John wetsuit. Super important to have one of these when you go out kayak fishing here on the California coast. You know, you never want to end up in the water, but if on off chance something happens and you do, you got to be prepared. And so you need some kind of wetsuit. And I usually typically suggest a Farmer John wetsuit because uh, it can get a little toasty out there, you know, especially Southern California to, you know, Central California or even the Bay Area. It can get a little warm out there. So having the sleeveless really helps, you know, prevent overheating out there. But this is, you know, at the time I got this one, it was, I needed one desperately. So this is the cheapest, quickest one that I could find. And uh, I got my money's worth for sure. I mean, you know, I've used this for... I don't know, I think it's been over a year. Giant hole in the knee there. It's got like little holes here and there, probably from like hooks, fish spines, everything else in between. But hopefully this is my last day to wear these. But in order to do that, I'm gonna need to catch some fish. And I've been out here looking for bait for the last two plus hours. It's already 10, 15, more than two hours. And literally caught zero bait fish, not even a single anchovy mackerel nothing so i'm gonna tie in some artificials not super optimistic i feel like live bait works a lot better in this area but um yeah that's all we have now so gotta make it happen we're doing some commercial fishing today normally i'm looking for the smaller fish but today i got a special order for up to 50 pounds worth of fish so you know if we can catch two 25 pounders that'll s satisfy the need really we take whatever we can get up to 50 pounds. Big fish. Pretty sure it's a big halibut. Game on now. Right. Pretty sure it's a halibut. Feels like a halibut. Got some considerable weight to it. I'm using a bounce ball setup, so there is a lot of just weight from the sinker as well. But, man, shaking his head down there for sure. Get this gaff in position. got some weight to it. I know I got a lot of weight on here from this just from the setup but there's definitely some weight on here just from the fish itself too. Like I was saying the water's pretty clear here so we should be able to see them quite a ways down there. I haven't seen any color yet. This one's got some weight to it, for sure. I think he's still quite a ways down there. I see a mark on my fish finder at like, all the way to the bottom almost. He did go on a little bit of a run there, so he should be tired out a little bit. 
still got some energy though. These halibut, they're a lightweight predator. So if you think about it, most of their life, they're sitting on the bottom. I mean, they, they migrate around too, but you know, for the most part, especially when they're hunting, they're sitting on the bottom waiting for unsuspecting prey to swim over the top. You know, they're super camouflaged with that brown top, you know, blending in with the sand and rock down there. And um, so the way they fight is very similar. They're just kind of dead weight, dead weight. You can see right now he's not swimming hardly at all. He's basically just coming up like a paper bag. But, you know, when they do need to exert a lot of energy, you know, when they are looking for prey or if they're feeling threatened, they do have a nice strong burst of energy. And I can see him now. He's a nice nice fish. Nice fish. Man, that's a big one. That might be a 40 incher. I haven't caught a 40 on dude, I think that's a 40 inch fish right there. I have not caught a 40 on film, but this might be the one. Look at that big old fish, barely hooked. Can stick this gaff in him. Yeah, I think this is a 40. All right, we're gonna try to get him here. Yes! Yes, that's a 40. That's gotta be a 40. That might be a kayak. I think that's a kayak PB for me. Uh, I'm on the stringer. Barely hooked. But he is hooked nonetheless. Let's get him on the stringer. Look at the mouth on that fish. Alright. Yeehaw! Boom! Man, tough morning. Absolutely no bait to be found. Had to resort to some artificials. But, boy, no live bait needed, I guess. And look at this thing, he's barely hooked. He's got one hook in there. Wow, that came out so easy. Yeah, that's, the, that's the biggest halibut I've caught from a kayak. No doubt. Take a look at this guy. Ah, yes. That's a 40, 100%. Biggest halibut I've ever caught from a kayak. Damn, that's a big fish. Brown on one side, white on the other. California halibut. And that's a toad. That's gotta be 25, pushing 30 pounds. The mouth on that one. Big teeth, you can see the bottom teeth there, like fangs. He's got a set on the top as well. Can't really see it because it's hidden by the gums, but let's see if we can peel him back. Ooh. All right, anyways, it's there. Just, just trust me. I'm gonna throw him on the bump board real quick. Just get an approximate measurement, but this one only goes to 36 inches. So, unfortunately, this guy's gonna surpass that easily. Ugh. Wow, that is one heck of a halibut right there. Look at that, it only goes to like the, not even to the base of the tail. It's a good, that much farther than 36 inches. I don't know, I guess it's right around maybe 41 or 42, something like that. That's a healthy halibut. I'll weigh it later and give it an official measurement later and put it, the, the details up here, but rest assured, it's a big one. And uh, perfect day to get it. Like I said, I'm looking for, I got a special order today, so I'm looking for 50 pounds worth of halibut. And uh, that's probably, honestly, we're probably halfway there. We went from zero to halfway there, just like that. And it's been a little while since I've done any commercial fishing, so I just wanted to mention uh, totally, well, totally illegal to sell your catch if you're a recreational sport fishing, which is probably what, you know, 95 to 99% of you out there watching are. Um, but I do have a special license that is on top of the recreational sports fishing that allows me to sell fish 
well, there's a few licenses, but um, anyways, the point is you won't, you wouldn't be able to sell this with your regular sport fishing license. You need commercial licensing to do that. And um, me, I obviously have that for myself as well as this kayak. So I sell some fish. If you're ever interested in buying fish, the best way is just to follow me on Instagram. That's where I leave uh, most of my updates just because that's the easiest place to give everyone, you know, the you know, timely updates on how the fishing is going and when I have fish and stuff like that. But anyways, today I have a special order, 50 pounds worth. So let's take care of this one. I want to make sure I balk and bleed him real good so that meat stays nice and fresh and then get him on ice as quick as possible. Um, so enough talking, let's do that and then get back to fishing. Woo, 40. Now that I think about it, I have to give a little shout out. A couple people have commented on my recent videos, my recent halibut fishing videos in particular, saying that their biggest fish, biggest halibut were caught during these winter months. And uh, uh, I, didn't, I did not believe them, but personally it hadn't been the case for me. So uh, this one fish just totally changes that. Sold them here because there are a lot of seals in this area, so I'm not going to leave them over the edge for too long. Just want to bleed them out real quick and then we'll throw them on ice with my cooler bag back here. This is the setup right here. It's a little bounce ball rig, really basic, traditional, just like you've seen many times on my channel. A lot of my commercial fishing actually was done with this exact setup. Pretty simple, but uh, yeah, gets the job done. Obviously, it's mimic mimicking a little squid, and uh, those hooks are kind of small, especially for a fish that we just caught. But got the job done, can't complain. All right, let's see if we can get another one. Wind's starting to pick up a little bit here, so there is that, but we'll still stick it out for at least another hour or so. This one. That was definitely a bite though. Alright, little update. The wind did die down, so the forecast is correct, so I'm appreciative of that. But unfortunately, no more hooked fish. I had one short strike on this side that you didn't see, and then one short strike on this side that you did see. Um, but no hookups, unfortunately. So I'm gonna keep at it. I think this bite's really finicky right now. I think they're just kind of nipping at it. You gotta just get lucky. Even the one that we caught barely was hooked right on the lip there. So I think it's just uh, gotta grind it out. Hope that your bites stick. And but I don't know, it's running. Trying to get some line back. Don't hit on the drop, right as I was putting it down. Honestly, I think I, I was, thought I had a bite before that, but I don't know, I don't, whatever it was didn't get hooked. So I put it back down and boom, right away, this one hit. As you can tell, wind's picking up here, so we're probably gonna head in after this one. It might have tangled my other line. Yeah, we got, we got a little bit of a mess going on here, but regardless, we gotta get this fish in. Where's my gap? Unfortunately, it tangled me up in my other line, so I got a lot of weight on here, more than normal. 
And I apologize in advance if this audio isn't good. But we stuck it out and it paid off. It's always a challenge on the kayak, but especially when the weather's a little less than ideal like it is right now. Gives it a little added extra dose of excitement. We're gonna get this guy taken care of, bonk him, bleed him, toss him in the bag and head in, because that's we're gonna call it a day right there. That's another really solid fish. I know it's not as big as the first one, but I mean, any day of the week, we'll take that. That's probably, I don't know, 34, 35 inches, something like that. I know it's rocking and rolling, but yeah, we'll call it a day on that one. That's a really solid fish, probably, let's say 34, 34 inches, something like that, 33, 34. Probably, uh, you know, 17, 18 pounds, maybe 15 to 17 pounds, something like that. Really solid fish. A little bit of tough fishing, but we can't complain. Two nice quality fish. I think we got around 40 pounds of fish, especially since I had my good luck donut stolen this morning by that guy right there. That guy. I had it sitting in my kayak in a little paper bag, went to park my car, came back, and this guy was just swimming off into the thing with my paper bag with the donut inside. So didn't have that donut for good luck today, but still got it done. So obviously next step, gotta go sell these fish now. I always like to get rid of them the day of, or maybe the day after at the latest, um, just to make sure that whoever's buying the fish gets them nice and fresh. And sometimes it makes things a little unpredictable. Like I told this person that was buying the fish that I don't know if it's gonna happen or not. You know, we can never predict the fishing, but I'll do my best to get as much as I can. And uh, yeah, so that's what we're gonna do. And then uh, we'll reconvene for probably the part of the video that I'm most excited for. So we'll see you there. All right, seal is done. So in total, the two fish, the big one was over 27 pounds, just side of 28, and the smaller one was a little bit over 15 pounds. So 42 pounds, I sell for about $10 a pound. I got $400 for the two fish. So that brings me to the next part of this video, which is where we do the honors with this guy. It's been a long ride. Caught a lot of fish with this guy, but this time has come. Thanks for keeping me safe all those days out there. Appreciate it, bud. Good luck out there. Out with the old, and in with the new. Here's the new one, a little bit of a unboxing, I guess. This is the wetsuit that I used to have. Same brand, same size, same style. But the last one I had actually got stolen off my front porch long video a long time back on my channel, but this is an NRS 3.0 Ultra Farmer John wetsuit. Really nice and sturdy. Obviously it's gonna keep me warm out there. And it'll last, it should last actually a lot longer than the other one because it's you know, made a little bit better. But I won't put this on now. You'll have to wait till my next hack video to see this one. 
And in case you're wondering, depending on the model that you get, these run anywhere from, I think about $150 to $200, somewhere in that range. I actually got the nicest one. So this is a $200 wetsuit because my, you know, fishing went well. Felt like I needed to reward myself. And honestly, I use it enough to where, you know, getting a nicer one is worth it anyways. It's supposed to have a nicer, you know, inside here, probably more comfortable, hopefully lasts a little bit longer. But you're probably wondering, if I got this for $200, sold the fish for $400, well, what did I do with the other $200? Well, check this out. All right, this is the box right here. So this is what I spent my remaining $200 on. I think actually it was a little bit more than $200, but anyway, we got this. I'm very excited for it. And I'm not gonna open it in this video. I know I'm probably gonna break some hearts on that one, but this is coming to a video very, very soon. So if you follow along with the channel, You'll see it coming up and if you're new here you just checked out this video on a whim well stick around you'll see what's in here it's going to be an exciting adventure i guess if you have any guesses as to what's in here well leave them in the comment section below i'm curious to see if anyone guesses it right but um yeah this ought to be fun as for this video well i think that's going to wrap it up i appreciate all of you for watching a little commercial fishing videos first one i've done in a little while and uh, more of that to come this year so if you're interested in the commercial fishing side of things Stick around, more of that's come. But until then, appreciate you for watching. We'll see you on the next one.